Okay, how you doing? Rob here, Trev2323. I'm here because uh, I was, part one of the video was actually when I made my water, my water, airlift water pump here. Uh, if you've seen how I made it, there's actually an inch and a half pipe inside this four inch pipe. And this is the airline right here. The airline goes into that pipe, which is cut open at the bottom, and shoots up here and it actually lifts the water. And I put it puts it in my big tote. There's a brick in here and all this because I don't want this to puncture the bottom. But uh, what this is moving, in the other video I said it's about 300 gallons per hour and I, I personally was like looking I said man that's only like maybe 50 gallons per hour that is circulating. I got a 120 to 150 pond, uh, gallon pond in the ground that I'm pumping it up to a 300 gallon water tote and three, the, the pond in the ground has is going to have my medium sized tilapia in it. So uh, there's probably going to be about maybe 20 medium sized tilapia, small to mediums in there. And my big tote is probably going to have 15 to 20 bigger tilapia. So that's not enough water circulation. I do have a 30 gallon sump also attached to it and a, a lava rock waterfall connected to it. So what my new plans for this, because this is where the air goes in and it's just the air lift. Now this is so low, uh, it's only about two and a half, two and a quarter feet that an uh, inch and a half pipe won't lift the water in here with the air. So since my inside tote, I'm shutting down for the summertime, I'm putting everything outside, I do have a, a, a water pump in there, a regular water pump. I tried just the airlift to save on some electricity, but I am running a 960 gallon water pump on the inside. So if you look at my other videos, I got a filter with a five gallon thing for to carry me through the winter time. So what I'm gonna do is turn this into an inch and a half pipe, adapt it with a Y, so I can have the water pump pumping up in here and the air pushing it further to get more water flow in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and adapt this. Like I said, I'm, I have inch and a half all over the place, but I had to buy some more. So I got my inch and a halfs to come up. I got my inch and a half pipe. This is gonna come in. Actually, this is gonna go this way. The main line is gonna adapt to here with the inch and a half. I'm gonna cut this, put an inch and a half right here. I got reducers, or actually uh, increasers, to go from inch and a half, I mean from half inch to inch and a half. And I got two of them. Okay, I have, let's see, this right here is because my water pump is going to have a hose coming off the hose. So the hose goes onto here and it's going to push the water in here. And then I'm going to convert it to inch and a half pipe right here. So what the water is going to do is the water is actually going to push and fill up the pipe with the, you know, get it flowing. And it's uh, two and a half, two and a half to two and a quarter in the ground feet. And it's probably five feet, no, about uh, four feet off the ground it's gonna have to lift up. So the water pump will lift the water up, but it may not be a good flow, but the air lift should make it flow a lot better. I do all this in theory and, and the thoughts in my mind, I showed you how everything did and didn't work when I had to adapt this. And it's the same thing with this. I'm gonna put it together, show you how I made it, then at the end we'll see how it is. Uh, I hope you like the videos. Uh, comment, like, or whatever, but uh, I'm gonna do step-by-step -step photos how I'm gonna adapt this down. But that's my theory right here. I'm gonna switch it from the half inch to inch and a half all the way up. I have a half inch PVC, I have a, a, it's actually a reducer, but I'm going to use it as expander to a Y. The air is going to flow up the main one, the water is going to come in this one and lift it, and I got my angles to put it in my tank. So we'll see how this is going to work out. I'll take some pictures as I'm going along. Thank you. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I'm done. Uh, it actually, man, PVC is so easy to work with. It took me all of like maybe not even 10 minutes to finish putting this together. Uh, to cut PVC, these are so worth the money if you ever work with PVC. There's a little bit of money to get them, but I mean, honestly, you just crank them down and it just cuts through PVC like butter. But make sure you get at least one for an inch and a half and smaller. So then this way you could use work with inch and a half pipe. I got a video up also on how to glue PVC together, so you watch the video. And I got a video on how I made this pump, but I'll go over it again really fast. Uh, what I did right here is for my airlift water pump, I started with just a half inch pipe just to see how it would work. And what it was was when the air was shooting into the, the kind of 
if you put it all the way at the bottom you have bubbles coming out the bottom it won't work as good so you have it like this far off the bottom right it comes in the side it shoots the air into the pipe and the water comes up the bottom because the air bubbles flow at the top but what happens is there's bubbles that fill up with air in there so this actually lifts out the ground I mean out the water so it don't pump as much so what I did is I came up with this right here with a brick inside of it and all the holes around the bottom because you want to get the sediment off the bottom but I don't have no holes on the bottom or nothing because I didn't want it to actually chance tearing or ripping the pond liner so the brick is inside when I glued it together this was a complete solid top for the airline there's a uh, uh, inch and a half pipe on the inside going down to right here with no cap at the bottom because all the water gets sucked in here to the air blows to the inch and a half pipe it comes out the top right here it works really good watch my previous video because uh, that's how that's working it shows how much this inch and a half pipe is I needed more water flow for my tilapia I need more water flow because I set it and forget it I leave them out there and it cleans keeps itself clean and everything so I wanted more water flow Therefore, I bought this. I think this was like $1.70. The adapters were like $1.12. Half inch fittings at like 28 cents. I think this was $1.19 to go to the hose. So my theory on right here is this is still going to sit at the bottom of the, t of the uh, pond. It's going to be at the bottom. So this is all underwater. Actually, this will all be submerged underwater. Then I'm going in half uh, inch and a half pipe up out the water. Okay. So the air is still going to blow through here. The air is going to still keep coming up through here but it's gonna have water pushing in through this one right here. Cause with inch and a half pipe, it'll only lift like maybe six inches out the top of the water. So I've gotta go like at least four, four feet, I think out the water is what it's gonna be. So the water flow is gonna fill the inch and a half pipe up with water enough. And actually it'll be a, probably a slow trickle into my tote. So I figure with the water, it's gonna get more uh, volume, more pushed out, uh, more water exchange uh, to clean my pond out more. Uh, it was crystal clear with just a half inch pipe, but I'm throwing my fish in this week so I wanted to have a cycle before then. So like I said, I'm going two inch and a half pipe from here. So we'll, we'll tomorrow, it's all glued together right now. I'm not going to glue the final pipe in since it's dark out here already till tomorrow. So I get my measurements and then I'm going to go straight up out the pond to my angles to get it inside the tote. Uh, so watch my other video if you want to see how I made this right here and then we'll see how the whole thing works tomorrow, alright? Thanks for watching. Bye.